Hello, I'm Rebecca Shenaloo, the Patient Support Program Coordinator here at Enlo Regional Cancer Center. Welcome and thank you for taking the time to watch these new patient welcome videos. These videos help you know what to expect and also give you tips so that you have the best possible experience here at the Cancer Center or at Enlo Comprehensive Breast Care Center. In this video, we're going to be talking about what to expect at your first visit and a few things that you can do to make the most of your first visit. I always like to remind people to share these videos with others who might be included in your care and also that it's possible to pause the videos or rewatch the video until you feel like you have a good grasp of the information. Due to COVID-19, you'll need to wear a mask and answer screening questions when you arrive. When you enter, you'll go to the front desk of your doctor's office and a patient clerk will go over some intake questions, will check your photo ID and insurance card, will snap a quick picture of you, and will review your outpatient medical information release form where you let us know who we can talk to about your care. If you have an advanced healthcare directive or a POLST, which is a physician's order for life-sustaining treatment, you can give a copy to the clerk at this time. If you're already established as an ENLO patient, some of these steps may already be done, but we usually use this opportunity to be sure that all the information that we have is correct. The patient clerk will also ask you if you wanna be able to access your medical information through my chart the patient portal. I love my chart because it allows me to see my lab results really quickly, sometimes the same day. It's an easy way to communicate with the team. There's an option for requesting medication refills there, and it helps me keep all of my appointments straight. So it is a beneficial tool. Now I know for many, the idea of using technology can be intimidating or just plain annoying. You may be saying, this is not for me. And if so, I invite you to come see me in the Cancer Center Library. I can walk you through it and will offer help until you have the confidence you need to feel comfortable using it yourself. Another option that I see plenty of patients do is to enlist a younger family member or friend to manage your MyChart by setting up the proxy feature. Either way, I think you'll come to enjoy having access to the information that MyChart provides. If you have any questions about treatment information or billing information or scheduling information that you find in MyChart, of course you can call us to get any answers that you need. If you are going to receive radiation therapy, be aware that our radiation treatment machines come with a whole different software and that includes the scheduling piece. So you will be in close communication with our front desk team to arrange and confirm your radiation appointments. My chart's not always the best way to keep up to date with those. But back to the first visit. So at the first visit, your patient clerk will offer to email you the, a link for the portal. And then when you're at home, you can do the four easy steps to get signed up. And it is easy. If you have any technical difficulty, you can call these numbers for MyChart customer support. <clears throat> Your initial appointment is usually scheduled to be 45 to 60 minutes long. Before you talk to the doctor, your doctor's medical assistant, and we call that person an MA, will ask you some questions about your health history and how you're feeling. The MA is also the team member who orders any additional tests or procedures that you might need. When you talk with your doctor, they will explain the name and stage of your disease, treatment options, and your prognosis. Your prognosis is the doctor's prediction of how you might recover from your illness, and it depends on many different factors. Your doctor will be referring to various reports, like copies of scans, x-rays, MRIs, CTs, or other imaging tests that were done, and pathology slides if a biopsy was performed. Don't be surprised if you learn that additional tests are necessary. 
cancer care is becoming very personalized, and sometimes additional tests, like genetic risk assessment, are needed to finalize your plan. You may feel overwhelmed by all the information that you receive at your first visit, and you may find it confusing. Don't take it personally. Research tells us that most people only absorb a portion of everything that's being explained to them at that first visit, so you are definitely not alone. The good news is that there are ways to minimize the overwhelm. As we said in the previous video, it's helpful to have someone with you who can take notes so that you can just focus on what's being said. And pick someone who would be good at this sort of thing. And it should also be someone who you're comfortable with knowing your private health information. You will probably hear medical terms that you don't know. Ask questions as you go. I think asking questions as you go instead of trying to write them down or save them to the end can reduce some of the feelings of overwhelm. You can raise your hand and interrupt if you need to. Say, I'm, I'm sorry, could you, could you say that again? Or, I'm sorry, I need to write that down. How could you spell it? Our doctors are very used to having these talks, but they're also very used to stopping and explaining if you need more explanation. There are stress management tricks that can help if you find yourself feeling anxious. Take some deep breaths. Soften your belly. Notice the way your feet feel on the floor. Relaxing your body and breathing deeply can actually help your brain process information. And for more tips like these, watch video number three. And don't worry too much if you still feel like you're not getting it all. As I said, this is very normal. Fortunately, we offer you additional education after your first visit. Your doctor's nurse will be talking to you uh, more about your treatment and possible side effects, and you'll have opportunities to research your specific cancer after the appointment. Hopefully, understanding in advance that there will be plenty of opportunities to get the information that you need will take some of the pressure off of that first meeting with your doctor. You'll receive a patient guide binder from your nurse if you'll be getting cancer treatment or surgery. And this patient guide was designed with lots of patient input to provide you with easily understandable information on topics important to cancer patients. You can use your binder to organize all of the papers we're going to be giving you. And it also includes a personal organizer with a directory of phone numbers and a place to write down important information. If your first visit is by telehealth, you can arrange to pick up the binder at your convenience. And if you're here for your appointment, ask for it before you leave. We'll talk more about ways to use the binder in video number four. After your first visit, take a big breath, let it out slowly, and congratulate yourself on making it through a big first step. If you're at the cancer center, Take a moment to look up at the banners along the hallway and let yourself be encouraged by their messages of hope. Many of them were made by cancer survivors who know how it feels. The banners, the skylight art, the healing art gallery, the healing garden, they all serve a purpose. We know that art and beauty help us feel better when we're dealing with heavy stuff. I also encourage you to be gentle with yourself in the hours and days after your first visit. Getting a serious diagnosis is a big deal, and it takes some time to process it all. If you've not done so already, it might be a good time to watch video number three, Managing Stress and Improving Well-Being. And when you're ready, watch video number four for tips of things that you can do in the days after your first visit that will help you feel more in control and will make you better prepared for whatever lies ahead. Thank you for watching.